Hello! Today we're going to be writing some character descriptions. Now a character description is when you write about a character from a book, a story, a movie or anything else that you can find and we write about them, we draw the picture, we plan some words about them and then we turn those words into sentences. So let's go through this together. So if you want you can grab some paper now and some pens, pencils and we can get started. Okay before we start our character description we need to choose a character to write about and I thought we could write about this very cute little owl over here. Now he's a very special owl because he's wearing a top hat so of course we need to write about that. Now the first thing we need to do is draw a picture. So I have my vivid so I'm going to start drawing. So we can see he's got a big round body then he's got two little feet and two wings that come down by the side. Okay, I know he has big wise eyes so I need to draw those on. Very, very big eyes so he can see in the dark. All right, what does he use to go whoo, whoo? He uses his beak. So I'm gonna draw that in. He's got a fluffy feathery belly. And then of course the most important part, his top hat. So if you were drawing your picture of the owl at home with me, maybe we can compare them together. Here we go. Isn't he just the cutest? I bet your pictures are probably better than my one. All right, so now we can start doing our planning. So we're gonna start writing some words or little sentences for our plan and we're gonna turn those into sentences. So I'm gonna think of maybe three or four things that I can write about. So the first thing I'm gonna write about is that he's got big, wise eyes. Oh, wise and eyes, it rhymes. I'm gonna write about his white and brown feathers. White and brown feathers. Okay, and then I'm gonna talk about his two wings to help him fly. Two wings. And then I'm gonna talk about the most important part, his top hat. All right, I have put a bullet point next to those four ideas and I'm gonna turn into sentences. So I know I've got big wise eyes, white and brown feathers, two wings and top hat. Now for the next part, I'm gonna put some sentence starters up on the screen so they can help me and they can help you to write into a story. Now before we start, there are some very important things we need to remember when we write sentences. And I'm gonna draw some pictures so they can help us. The first thing that we need to remember is that we use capital letters to start our sentences. So, I've written here, capital letters to remind us. Now, what goes at the end of a sentence? Can you say it? Perfect, a full stop. Full stop, very important. So I'm gonna put that up there to remind us as well. And then the next very important thing that we need to include is finger spacing in between our words so that our words don't all squish together. So I'm gonna try and draw a finger. All right, and I'm gonna write finger space to remind us. So we need to make sure when we are writing our sentences, we start with a capital letter, we end with a full stop, and we use finger spaces in between our words. Okay, let's start turning our ideas into sentences. And we can use the sentence starters to help us. Okay, to start off our sentences, I'm gonna use the sentence starters and I've already written them down. And I'm gonna use the ideas from my planning bit up here and I can tick them off as I go so I know I have used those ideas. So let's start off with the first one. My owl looks like, hmm. What can I use for my planning? I think I'm gonna talk about his big wise eyes. So I'm gonna say, my owl looks like a wise bird 
with his big eyes. And what goes at the end? Full stop. Perfect. So that's our first sentence. Our second one is he has. Hmm, what could I put up here? He has, I'm going to talk about his two wings. He has two wings. And what do his wings do? They help him fly. So I'm going to put that in to help him fly. Full stop at the end. As we're going, I'm going to keep double checking that I'm using these three parts. So capital letters, yes, I've started them off with capital letters. Full stop at the end, full stop there, full stop there, and finger spaces. Let me get my finger to check. Okay, yep, I've got good finger spaces between my words. And I can tick the two ideas off that I've already used. So tick, big wise eyes, and tick, two wings. Now I've got two more sentences to write. He is, hmm, he is. I'm gonna use the white and brown. So he is white and brown, full stop, okay? And I can tick that idea off. And the very last one is, I'm gonna talk about his top hat. And the sentence starter is, I like him because. I like him because he's an owl wearing a top hat. He's so fancy. I like him because he is wearing a top hat. Full stop. And I'm gonna add in a little bit of extra at right at the end of my sentence, and I'm gonna write, he is so fancy. Capital letter, he is so fancy. And I'm gonna use a bit of punctuation here at the end, because it's an exciting sentence. I'm gonna use an exclamation mark. Exclamation mark there, right at the end. All right, so double check my capital letters. Yes, I'm using them at the beginning of the sentence. Full stop at the end, and finger spaces in between. You know what, I think I get a tick for all those four sentences. What do you guys think? Oh, you're so kind. All right, so either you are writing along with me, or you can pause the video on the sentence starter screen, and you can write your own character description about the owl, or if you're feeling really fancy, you can choose another character from a book movie or TV show that you already know. And I would love to see all your writings you can send it my way. All right, I'll see you soon.